hello hello people welcome back and it is actually virgo's time virgo your time to receive your reading so let's see what will come up for you virgo and let's uh, walk into house number one which is here okay and uh, yeah um, so this is about yourself and in the first house Virgo you receive um, yeah okay in the first house you receive um the uh the empty rune uh up on yara uh that's interesting bridge uh, it's like um for me this talks about that you um you want things to move forward uh virgo in a very slow way you don't want to rush uh things it's like taking it slow give things time without anything that's uh, going to be good but i think that there is a point within you that is like you would like to get out communication talk to people who can actually understand you and who can see you also for who you are and you can be quite super stubborn uh you know and uh, that your stubbornness can be quite difficult for you to you know let go of because it's something that you're holding on to if you have set your mind and don't get your way oh my you can explode you can get angry from time to time uh but when you you know when you give when you truly give you truly give from your heart um to those people that uh, you know you have around when you get angry you can get angry you know for a long time as well uh but so it it can sometimes take time before you can you know shake off whatever so it's time to work on your feelings uh, uh because some of the feelings needs to come up to the surface and it's something that you're working to not show not open and yet you're hiding it you're holding it within this can be hard upon you not easy to be you because it's like ah i have done this and it's over and it's over i don't have to go through it again sort of in a way but sometimes the feelings doesn't work that way you need to work through them you know you need to remember that you're just a human um so yeah so that's the first thing that you receive and you need to meet someone uh this can be a family member this can be people around work this can be uh brothers sisters whatever this is about it's like meet something half away you know as you have the bridge there uh prosperity is the next and it it is uh, values uh, wealth uh, possessions and uh, reinsurance and uh, you have um, so you have uh, let me just see Ooh. money chest oh <laughs> i wish i would have that it's like uh i don't know are you planning to save up some money or are you going to receive money maybe it's like something is coming your way that is going to build up stability for you this can be work maybe you're going to you know um make a change money wise you know somehow it's going to be a change money wise for you it doesn't have to be bad um somehow i'm getting that this can be 
affecting your work whatever this is this can affect your work and i'm not seeing this being in a negative way it can be positive actually so it depends on how you work with it is how the outcome sort of in a way will be so try to you know believe in yourself uh, believe in what you do keep on doing um you have been trying to save up money but i think that you have difficulties doing that because you feel like people say you know within family like kids will come and say hey i need money dad give me and you don't have heart to say no because you want them to enjoy life it's like i was about to say almost like you want them to experience things in life in the way that maybe you didn't uh you know have you didn't when it comes to your parents for an example so yeah you're trying um that the next thing that you receive uh the next house we are going to communication and this stands for creativity intellect knowledge and uh short journeys and you receive uh, uh the manly rune and the manly rune is upon um mm, yeah you're thinking about uh you're thinking about footprints it's like what am i leaving behind me how will people remember me you're thinking about even someone that might have crossed over to the other side because you received the tree of knowledge as well. And for me, that talks about, um, I don't know, with this and with you, I'm getting that maybe you have lost someone to the other side and you're thinking about what, what sort of uh, things they have left behind them. It's like if they were angry, if you know how they were, how is the situation changing and happening what's going on and you're also thinking about what am i going to do am i going to stay and do the same what they have done or am i going to hold on to something different and make a change it's like you're thinking about what to do how to feel and think about uh you know your family and also getting some knowledge uh being open you have um uh, somehow I'm getting that you have had an experience out of body experience um, but you're not sure how to think about it how to feel about it you you know when you think of it I think that you can be stunned because of it so you know if, if you you know either have traveled done some astral travel or if you have died uh, you know, in sickness and they revived you back or something like something have bigger have happened for you in through your life somewhere uh, that, you know, that have shaken you up. But yet, you know, as much as you believe in, in everything and so on, you're not sure what to think. So it's like, I don't know, you're wondering, you know uh how to feel about it and you're trying to be masculine in it in the situation you you know you it's like you're setting your foot down like okay it was like that but now this is here i am this is what will be and you're being masculine you're trying to um uh you're trying to hold on to that you know uh way the next house that we're going into is your home uh, ancestry ancestors um, family emotions and security and you get um oh you have um oh okay you have the tree of roots together with uh, family union oh wow that's interested interesting um, i wonder if you have lost someone um you know i was talking over here uh in in the other house about you know 
you uh, passing and so on or something big happening. But I also believe that maybe someone have crossed over that, that it, it can be a female uh wow you received the female rune yeah uh it's like a female maybe you have lost a female it can be mother or sister or someone someone close uh to you uh, and maybe this change have happened in a recent uh in recent time this can be you know somewhere maybe in the beginning of uh of this year uh uh yeah in between maybe jan and and um um and july somewhere there in time maybe things have something have happened that i think have been shaking you up um you were prepared for it somehow and yet you were not um i believe and um you are thinking about your heritage uh you know your heritage is important for you and you're trying to put your heart into into this uh, uh very very much and it is important for you you know how the tradition how some of the tradition you know move forward uh, and so on don't be stubborn uh, don't disbelief um um don't disbelieve because i think that you know it's easy uh i think that it's easy to do for you so uh don't do that try to you know um virgo try to you know think about how you're dealing uh with the pain you know that that is uh within don't push the pain away you also might receive dreams um maybe i don't know if you remember them if you remember your dreams then try to understand them because it might be messages uh, coming through which is important for you to uh, think about and um try to try to do that when it comes to whatever this uh whatever this um uh, is about it have been taking its time you know whoever you have lost it 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 take its time for that person to cross over actually so that person was battling illness and that person was much much closer to you in i think in her thoughts than what you were towards her it's like someone that you somehow in a way pushed away and yet um you know you would call once in a month maybe and so on just to check in and see how are things you know uh so yeah but this also talks about that um you are going to hold on to some of your tradition be stuck to it and uh it's good that you know uh, you're thinking about your family maybe your kids and so on it's like bring some of the things through so that they have something that is in your you know ancestry lineage don't forget to tell them talk about uh, things uh, teach them they need to learn your uh, you know where you come from what, what your roots are you know it doesn't matter where you come from but you know it's always knowledge it's whatever you give from your ancestry to your child is something that is as much as part of you you know it's much as part of them as well and uh, it's knowledge you know it's always good to know so don't forget you know don't forget that let's uh, step into the next and that is pleasure romance hobbies uh, uh, children and inspiration and you receive the ooh, you have um, when it comes to relationships, you, oh, um, you are sentimental. <laughs> uh, you're sentimental, Virgo. From time to time, it's like you have been. You're thinking about what you know, what have been, uh, what you have gone through, what you have done. I think that you have been in and out of relationships that you know uh, have been important uh, some of them have been important but some of them not it's like yeah 
it's like you're trying to not put too much of sentimentality in it you there are things that you need to heal that has to do with your feelings with your heart uh, towards relationship towards sex um and towards what is that you you know wish to achieve in a relationship you have a way of looking you know um how you would like your partner for an example to be uh, and so on you're trying to explore that but it's like you're putting it a little bit too much so try to work let let feelings heal let your heart heal let your heart heal together also with your partner if there have been issues between the both of you work things out together because that can help you to uh overcome you know negative um, thoughts and feelings so let's move into house number number six oh okay so house number six talks about um health and it's service harmony healing and balance and you receive manas and manas is on the red cross um okay so if you have health issues uh virgo take care of yourself very very much it's so important for you to do so uh listen to you know what people tell you it can be you know doctors advice and so on you need to take your meds you need to you know be very disciplined in how you take care of yourself because this can affect you as a person and this can also affect other people that is around you uh as well so see to yourself um you might need you know some help again this can um it's like for me this uh, i'm getting that a doctor this can be an operation a doctor or it doesn't have to be operation but it can be but it's like someone uh, you know a doctor a, a nurse or you know whoever you communicate with when it comes to your health and so on that someone will you know talk to you about that you need to go through some type of a change and that you need to take that helping hand from them um uh, or by, by a specialist uh, and so on listen to what they say to you because even if it's difficult to go through it uh, you need to this can be painful uh but i think that you can manage that because you're a tough nut <laughs> uh so you know try to just uh go with what the doctor's advice is here for you okay that's what you're receiving okay and the next time is uh partnership and it's relationships uh contracts union and uh, marriage and the next rune here you have kenna and kenna is upon uh oh it's it's about uh, it's it's on um, the rings so it means that someone within your family is either going to get married uh, married or you know um we'll talk about engagement it's like a change a relationship something will happen if it's for you yeah it can be for you as well you know you if you're not in a relationship you might find yourself in a very strong relationship and it's something that will happen that you know it will be in a very fast you know time of term that you're not going to be able to sort of spin your head around like blink like oh oh i'm in, i'm in a relationship help <laughs> but it's a good relationship it's something that will you know hold on uh, it's a positive uh, uh, thing and it's going to be a huge talk about it people are going to talk about this relationship it's like yeah it's it will be something new on the ad agenda sort of in a way <laughs> so you know if if you don't want to be in the middle uh you know um you need to find a way to be because you're going to be for some time if it's about you and getting into a relationship getting the either um 
uh, married or uh, engagement or something. It's like a bigger step moving in together. Do It's like a change, completely change. And uh, yeah, you have to be aware of it. So, but if it's not for you and someone within the family, yeah, it's going to be a huge talk about this, okay? The next thing that is coming up uh, on, uh, we're going stepping into the next house is mysticism. And that's for superstition, occult, uh, reincarnation, birth and rebirth. And here you have Uru's uh, upside down and you have that. Um, on will and testament. And you have that on Phoenix. Oh. On Phoenix and Will and Testament. Wow. There, yeah. So you have lost someone, uh, you know, within family. You might, maybe that person would like to, uh, you to have something or to, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Uh, you didn't, you didn't, um, receive whatever it's like or you didn't want it whatever this is about it's like you you don't want uh anything that has to do with you know sadness power um i don't know what this can be it, 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 some it can be things it doesn't have to be uh you know a place it can be a thing but it's like gift something and uh, I think that you're happy about your choice uh, because you don't, uh, you feel like you don't need it. You have enough. You let this, you're letting this pass. Um, if you don't want to let this, uh, you know, pass, if you want to receive that gift, it's going to be something that has to do with, with that have been within the family. It can be, uh, you know, a place, a home, uh, jewelry, uh, whatever, you know, when someone passes on whatever they leave behind something there is going to be some type of a something for you left there so uh so yeah uh, even if it's hard for you to take that and accept it you know just just do it because uh um uh, it's going to be you know a fast uh it's like something is happening in a very fast way and it's going to you know you're going to explore now travel uh, next house journey ex expanding uh, horizon adventure further no knowledge okay and what are you receiving you're receiving the sun rune upon um, uh Mm, on the boat so uh i don't know how are you planning to travel overseas uh or maybe someone within the family that is maybe planning to travel overseas if that's so uh you know do that enjoy your time because there is going to be a positive travel it's going to do you good to come away you know from whatever was um and so on so uh, if you're planning to travel or if you're uh, you receive an invitation or whatever this is about just you know go take it enjoy uh you know meet people meet friends if it's you know meeting family do so your career uh aspiration uh aspirations power fame public uh, image and um, you have the gibo gibo upon tools and yara so it means that there is going to be some type of a change you are going to it's like your work whatever this is about this is about your work and it's it's like people at your work is going to meet you in a positive way it's like helping you receiving tools that can help you within your work um you're going to make choices you're going to receive something a gift whatever this is it's like a new good person you know opportunity something that is coming for you when it comes to work um it can be a tool uh 
wow, I'm getting like a phone or a computer or something, something that can help you at your work. And it's going to be a gift, it's going to be something that you're not reali uh, realizing to receive, and yet it's it's coming. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in a positive uh, way for you there. So take that. The next thing that you receive, the next house is the 11th house and um, community and this is about friendship uh, group object objective uh, associations uh, global issues and you receive the the rune mm -hmm. let's see you receive it on peace you're thinking about what's happening in the world and you're thinking about how can, you know, what will happen uh, in, in the world for you? What is going to, uh, to be? Uh, you, you can't make up your mind uh, about something. And there are so many things happening. And you're trying to be aware uh, about it. Um... Okay, so uh, you are going to find yourself, uh, you know, thinking, you know, you want to make peace around people uh, that is around you, uh, you know, because you, you care. Um, so you're going to try to make up peace. You want people to, you, it's like you want to see people together, enjoying time and enjoying, you know, life and so on. You don't like when people argue. Um, and yet you yourself can be a stubborn one. You need to learn to listen and you need to learn to listen to both sides. If there is arguments and things happening, you need to listen uh, to both sides to see and understand, uh, you know, put yourself in their shoes a little bit to have, you know, their understanding in a situation because then it will be easier for you to resolve it. And it doesn't have to be with arguments and you know and so on it it things can happen in such a good way that um uh you know you don't have to um you don't have to argue so let's go into the 12th last house and there you have kids oh wow okay let's see Th uh, philosophy so karma Th uh, karma fate uh subconscious and uh secret self and you receive this you receive the child upon the anchor sorry ankh and for me this talks about stability this talks about belief this talks about i mean the cross for me it talks about that you want uh your children if you have children you want them to have their own faith own belief you don't want to push them into whatever it is that you have been pushed into when it comes to religion uh, and so on you want them to have their own faith uh and thoughts um and so on but you yourself are thinking about you know what 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 is your belief uh, can you trust it um yeah it's like you're questioning uh you know your belief a little bit and uh, questioning what uh, comes with it uh somehow um i don't know i'm getting the feeling that you take the belief yeah it's there it's it's with you and that's it uh nothing more nothing less sort of in a way so yeah um if this is about a change uh, that you're planning to make when it comes to belief, it's like opening your eyes up to something different. Like, for an example, uh, yeah, the other side do exist. They can come through and communicate. For an example, now, uh, um, if you get, you know, to to hear it, if you get to see it, then you believe it sort of in a way. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, well... So it's like a little bit upside down. So I don't know. It's like you are having thoughts of change and yet uh, you're not. Uh, the last thing in this that you receive is number seven in with the dice, which talks about that things are going to move 
uh, forward for you in a very fast way so be ready for that whatever the change is be ready for the change in a fast way so that's what you are receiving now that was interesting uh, virgo um let's see let's throw your rules Hmm. Let's throw your rules. But uh... okay, so let's start with east, and it's where it's time for you to work on your. You know, you're being sentimental. There are a lot of things that needs to heal there. You need to believe and work on your self esteem. Find a balance when it comes to your work. There is a gift coming your way, and it's going to be very good very positive you go with that gift you're going to make choices that is going to affect uh, affect you very very much and it's going to affect someone else around you um this can be a female a co-worker this can be maybe a partner if you're a male for an example but it's, it's going to affect someone and uh, you're going to think about your ancestry you're going to think about uh, your children and how you make if you have children how you make their decisions uh, as I mentioned earlier try to teach them you know what their ancestry is uh, where they come from you know give them you know that there is so much power there is there is so much good in it uh, don't forget to to do that the next thing that you receive is the is uh, is strength you are going to build yourself up and go through a very huge change and people will help you and uh, depending on you know how things work out for you it's you know time will show because you receive this rune at the end so it means that um nothing is you know for sure completely but time will show you know the outcome in all this for you so you know give it some time give it <laughs> So that's what you receive, Virgo. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And until next time, blessings.